So not everybody here had me for curriculum development, but any of did Muskogee, how many of you had my curriculum development class? Okay, so did you do a Gantt chart of your degree plan or your, right, okay. If you know how to do a, a Gantt chart, and I'm gonna show you one, let me get, okay, so I'm gonna put this chart up. This is just a brainstorming chart, so everybody knows how to do this, right? You can use posters. Well, let me show you how I had a group come together. They said that the online instruction on doing the Gantt chart of their program made no sense. They couldn't do, they couldn't make it work on Excel. So I handed out post-its. I got a poster board and I had them take several sources. I had them take the graduate catalog. I had them take that little trifold of the program. I had them take their degree plan and their statement of understanding. And that was their sources. And I had them start arguing about what the steps were that they had to go through from being accepted in the program all the way down. So are we rolling, Matt? Okay, I wanna get a close up of this, let you see this mangled mess that they did. I mean, this was a hands-on activity. So this was a group version of that Gantt chart. And here they are, they down this left-hand column, they did all the steps and post-its and they argued about it and they shifted them around and some of them said, well, I'm not taking that course now. And so then they had to negotiate, well, let's don't name the courses, let's just say how many hours we're going to take each semester. So another group did one that was on fast track and they were doing nine hours every semester, right? And this group was doing six hours a semester and six hours in the summer. So they did this two-year plan. Here's the time, each of these represents another semester. They had a zero semester for all the, I think they decided there were, see, they decided there were two or three steps they did even before they started classes. They had to turn in their graduate admission. They had to be accepted. They had to go contact the advisor. Then during the first semester, they took two courses they took their right placer test, they took their MAT. So they started putting X's out beside each of these of all the steps they did, semester by semester, all the way to graduation. So you could do this with a group. You could get a group of teachers, you might even have a parent or two on the committee, but you could get a group together and hand out some post-its, get a poster board, and say, let's talk about how we're gonna solve this problem. Help me plan out my project for the next two semesters. And just think about it in terms of weeks or months or however you want to segment the time and have your team come up with a timeline. All the tasks that have to be done and at what point each of those tasks needs to be done. And after an hour of arguing about it and posting and everything, you probably will have a pretty good rough timeline. So you'll have taken care of time. And along the way, you'll probably talk about some of the other resource variables that you'll need to gather at those points in time. So what were the seven resource variables that you had to take care of during the plan? Time, money, people, materials, space, Woo, say that louder, that was good. Time, money, people, materials, space, information, and programming. There you go, the seven classic resource variables need to be taken care of along with these steps from the beginning of your project to the end of the project, okay? So how can you involve a group? Here's one method. Do an old fashioned poster board and post-it Gantt chart. And if you have a computer whiz there, you can have them putting all this on Excels as you do it. Does this make sense? Have you ever thought, I mean, I know some of you that had my class did these on your own, but did you ever think of using this with a focus group or with a problem solving group? It's a great tool. It's a great way to get people to thinking vertical and horizontal alignment, basically, right? I mean, this is a very simplified horizontal and vertical alignment. You're looking at many different tasks from many different people and subgroups over time and correlating it into one vertical project. So any comments about this? 
Let me turn this back on y'all since we're going to put this to share with everybody. How many of you think you might use something like this? I mean, does this seem like a simple to use but easy tool? So has anybody gotten all the way through their plan yet? I did my Gantt chart in Excel, but it took me a long time to figure it out. You could do it like this, take a picture of it. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah. Too bad we didn't have this class already, right? right. But it, yeah. it was difficult. Yeah, yeah, Excel, it, I, I like Excel, but I'm used to using it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, trying to type things in there and cut and paste things in, expand the blocks and have yes. them come out. Mm -hmm. The way that it was supposed to look. There are some other flow charts that people might like better, but Excel, I, it's the one thing I know you can all get for free on campus. I did not on Excel, too. So, the reason I use this format and say Excels is because you know, I want you to have tools that you don't have to go spend two, three hundred dollars on to do these things. The same with a textbook. I would rather you research and find what the authors had to say out there in the research and use your schools as your textbook because textbooks have just gone unbelievably high. So I don't require textbooks in any of my classes anymore. You know, you can follow a text if you want to, but if you can go through all the steps and use your standards and the class that relates to that, those standards and the projects that we do and the Blackboard site and each other and your needs assessment in your school as your text, I think that has more, to me, that's more the fifth curriculum of your degree. Okay, well, we'll turn this section off then uh, of talking about how one way to use this tool of the Gantt chart to help you do